Good morning, Class 4-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's morning lesson. It is Monday, February 8th, 2021. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Last week, we read a story about Frog and Toad, and we talked about their friendship. Today, I'm going to read a story to you titled The New Friend, written by Maria Puncel and illustrated by Ed Martinez. What I would like you to do as I'm reading the story, or as we are reading the story together, I want you to think about whether or not you think the author did a good job of telling the story. Okay? Listen carefully, and please feel free to read along. The New Friend. Martin, Luis, and I lived in the city. Next door was an old house. No one had lived there for a long time. One day, a work crew came with pails and brushes. They started to wash and paint the empty house. Oh, I think someone's moving in. Let's find out. After they were done and the paint had dried, the house looked pretty and new. The next day, a big truck pulled up. It was full of crates and boxes. A crew unloaded the boxes off the truck. A new family would soon live there. There's a moving truck and there are the workers. Today, Luis went over to the house next door. He met a boy called Makoto. Then we all met Makoto. Makoto was seven years old, just like us. Before long, we found out that Makoto played soccer. He could keep running and running. He was good at learning things too. He learned all of our names by the end of the game. Isn't that nice? Soon, Makoto's family was all moved in. We met his mother and father. They were glad that Makoto had made some new friends. Looks like they're playing marbles here. While Makoto's mother and father went to buy food, Makoto stayed and played with us. When Makoto's mother and father rejoined us, Martin, Makoto, and I helped them carry the bags into the house. Well, that's nice of them to help. Mokoto said he would show us around his house. Then we went up to look at Mokoto's room. Mokoto has a nice room. There we go. Here they are in Mokoto's bedroom. Makoto still had a lot of boxes to unpack. He had some nice toys and kites. He said that on the next windy day, we could bring his kites outside and fly them. He said I could fly a kite by myself. That sounds like fun. Then we went outside to look at Makoto's pictures from Japan. He had them in a green book.
On the first page, we saw Makoto's old house in Japan. On the next page, we saw Makoto's family in Japan. The last page had pictures of Makoto's friends. They showed Makoto's seventh birthday party. Makoto said he wishes he could meet his old friends. I'm sure he misses his friends very much, right? At the end of the day, Makoto's mother and father repaid us for helping with cookies. We said please and thank you and ate up. Makoto's father said he had a new job in the city. Makoto would be going to our school. We were all glad about that. Everyone looks so happy. We said goodbye to Makoto and his mother and father. Then we went home to our families. We were glad to have a new friend next door. Oh, how wonderful. And they have a new friend. The end. Okay, so we're going to go back to the question that I asked you in the beginning. And that is, do you think the author did a good job of telling this story? Please leave your response in the contact form. That's it for the morning lesson today. Take care, stay safe, and be well. And my language arts students, there are two tests that you will take in periods four and five. Please watch the videos first before you take those tests. Only the students in my language arts class, okay? Take care and I will see you later on. Bye-bye for now.